Look, there's nothing here, except a beautiful scenery with the very fast moving clouds. Well, let's go in and have a talk with our friendly bartender and having elixir. You think it would restore all our hit points? Nope. Let's get some food. How is food A? I wonder what it is. It restores a little bit of magic points. But all that food is worthless. We should. I have to recruit now. I should get her equipped. I also probably should get some items. Herbs and medicine are nice. Sleeping bag is expensive. A return ring is an absolute must. Always have one return ring on you. And a silver flask is always nice to have. So take your pick. As for now, I'm going to get myself a broad sword. I already have a broad, but that's not the point. I really should have traded that in. But let's get some weapons. A kinky weapon, if you will. Portifa. That sounds so wrong. But it's what I do. And I no longer need that short sword. And yes, items sell for half price. I me a quick second to equip some new items. And that's quite a bit of attack for our full whip. I approve. Spirits, of course, can't equip anything. Also, I should get some cards. And am I gonna cheese another boss? Very likely. But I need to save the rest of my money to go to the inn and have a wonderful night. Uh, that offer still stands, lady. A room with you. See, she's going in a room with me. Nice try, Magma. Like that would ever work. I did sleep well. But here we go. Back to Balad, the Balna Temple. Yeah, I can use the what? Adam. Hmm. <laughs> Button to skip over it. I can also go backwards. That's nice. But I'll meet you back at where we were when we defeated the boss. Because I got everything on this floor. One quick second. Attack! No, I should actually paralyze. Because now I am against a sword. A lizard, if you will. It has 17 hit points. But you notice this outline is red. That means it's fire. Which means... Changing my attribute to one might not be a good idea. So let me smack it here with an eye broadsword. And it's a good thing Rooks is overpowered as heck. It is a good thing. We're almost to the second floor. I thought you might want to meet our new friend. And Tifa's finally doing some decent damage with that whip. Can't say so much for her spell ability. I think I'll save her for heals. Yeah, magic is kind of expensive though. Yeah. It's alright, we'll be getting a lot of magic points later. Uh, pardon that. But I can prefer to save it for healing. We will get some nice attack spells, though. And Tifa mastered this spell of Flea. Let me tell you the good news and bad news about Flea. You only have about a 66% chance 
chance. Two out of three chance of fleeing. It might be even low as half and half. Or less. But you can still run with the spell of flee. But it costs. Oh my. Way too many magic points. It's also not guaranteed. Especially not against bosses, but that's not the point. The point is we're on the second floor, finally. Also, to the east of the first in the first floor, there's a very long tunnel that leads to nothing. I'm looking on GameFAQs. And Mike's RPGCenter.com for maps. Thank you, Mike's RPG Center. So let's go around this pillar and see what else we can loot around here. Oh my! It's a full fledge. We have Gorlians, Griffins, if you will. I don't think casting magic is going to help here. But they can cast magic. Lightning one. Basically the same as Wind One. Now using the same element against itself is not as effective as a neutral element. Neutral element being, of course, no elements, gray, etc. So we don't want to change our tribute to wind. What we want to do is whip that puppy into shape and make their cards explode. Now there's a chance a spell might not affect a character, but that also applies to the enemy. Also, attack and pair. Relatively low magic points. But you won't be using it very often. That's a single target only. And probably not against mooks. Oh yeah, this floor has a whole bunch of nothing in it, except for one particular corner. Speaking of corners... So many slimes! So let's use a card against them. and sit back and watch lightning do the damage. Cards almost never miss if they're elemental. I've noticed that. But if they're destroy cards, not necessarily true. Also, we're still facing slimes, what the heck. I also know this car the card placement of cards is sometimes a little bit random. But no, they're all preset fights. You'll notice, I was about to say, you'll notice, and I'm checking in my map, that there always seems to be a certain pair trio four at a time. Or lizard to cause you pain. That's an actual lizard. And he is that sword. Sorry, enemies. I believe don't drop items. I'll have to triple check myself. Speaking of monsters. Ow. Yep, fire is strong against wind. As seen by the massive amount of damage. That lizard has an 20 hit points. Yeah. Gorgons. Gorgions. 16 hit points. And the King Castle Cordless Lightning. But as we're sailing along. In the Temple of Doom. Um, pardon me. Another valid strategy. But just to be buying cards. 
but of course you have a limited amount of inventory space. So you can rely on that forever. Also, purple. And of course you could go around here without the Sif on. But why would you do that? They don't regain energy when they're not called. And they don't cost anything to call. So keep them out. So they can recover their magic and hit points. And I shall go to this southeast corner to get a lot of treasure. In a pretty small place. But eventually, we're going to find something nice in here. Actually, probably not. But they're nice supplies, so we don't have to go back to town. And when we do go back to town, we'll be well prepared. And get some delicious herb. None of you get any ideas about what you do with that herb. Some of you think I should be smoking herb if I want to play this game willingly. It ain't that bad. But here comes a thief to prove me wrong. And the jails. I think he should be paralyzed. What about you? And his car is frozen. That means he's frozen. That's not the point. The point is, changing to a tribute will be bad. That's what we have a water card for. Make them wash out. Yeah, I know, Jill only has six hit points. Thief only had nine hit points. Yet all my heroes have well over a hundred hit points. Yeah, these dungeons are pretty much endurance dungeons. And you can go through this one. Assuming you get some treasures along the way and know where you're going. The entire way. But what I also want to do is get to the next boss. I'm getting some unusually good levels. Must be lucky today. Must can fall getting a return ring. I have one, but I'll take another one, thank you. But why do I call it bosses or guardians? Because in a temple full of evil, there's bound to be a crony or two. And ogres are cronies. They're also blue, what the heck? And now Sif with the light lightning one can start doing some nice damage. Okay, maybe not against Asari. But we'll speed up the battle quite a bit. But you notice that only took eight magic points. And with each step, you restore one magic point. So use all the spirit's magic points as you can. But honestly, Rooks is the MVP. MVP. He can still do 40 damage to anything. So why do we even need Tifa with us? She's our guide, I guess. But you notice, Tifa is now flashing. She's low on hit points. This is a state you never want to be in during a battle with multiple monsters. Never. Ever. Because once again, one character death means game over. 
and I do mean game over. No going back to town and losing half your gold. And if you haven't saved for a long time, you will be ripping your hair out. I'll be ripping my hair out for telling you. Ah, tribute what? We finally getting some attack spells. Attack spells? It's a mixture of spells and pretty low magic points to start out with. But yeah, yeah they're basic level 1 spells. A combination. If it's effective against earth and water, it needs to be a combination of wind and stone. Or wind and earth, I should say. Yeah, she casts both uh, spells at once. I know, that's kind of weird. I wish they could have named it something else, though. Like Wind Earth or something like that. But that wouldn't fit the character limit. And neither would the Ogre. The Ogre, only, of course, only has 8 hit points. Nothing to be scared of. These are a lot of weak enemies. But once again, Endurance Dungeon. That's basically the name of this game. Endurance Dungeon. Also getting attacked from behind. And that means all the enemies attack. So you can s safely say, keep your hit points high. So let's use a tri tribute one, except I don't have enough MP. So I can use an item during battle, but that'd be silly. But sometimes necessary. Sometimes it involves dodging. Okay, now that they're all weakened, you can all whip them into shape. Or I could just use another card. Let's burn them with a fire card. Now Earth and Fire are opposite attributes, so are Water and Wind. They'll do slightly more damage against each other, but really it's kind of neutral-ish. Also speaking of neutral-ish, I should tell you we're about to face a ball soon. So that's why we whip out our beautiful sleeping bag. If you don't have one, you might want to use a return rate and save. Good thing I know where I'm going and can skip three-fourths of this dungeon. So going forward, Let's try to flee. Or retreat, I should say. I was lucky that time. Next time I might be. Oh dear, it's an Iron Guardian. Also with the attribute of Earth. So let me put on my proper attribute. And we'll get to battling this thing. Oh, what's that? Attribute 1 is strong against Earth. Let's cast it. Decent damage. Iron Guardian, 300 hit points. No special spells. And now I can stack on the cards. So just stack on the pain. Except in those rare instances that it doesn't work. Welp. And I really doubt that's gonna work. Let's try it anyways. Nope. So what we do is zap him. Oh yeah, this is where our impair spells would be a nice idea. Uh, 
A spirit's spells will always be stronger than his physical attack. Rook's sword will always be par more powerful than anything. I never heard of an iron golem dodging. But really, it's a pushover. Although you might want to be at least level 5 before taking this thing on. So easy enough. And on we shall go. But shouldn't you go back to town first, Magma? I probably should. But I think I'll be okay. So allow me to continue on. And we'll hopefully seal this temple for good. And no more evil spirits will come out and save the world. You know it can't be that simple. It could be. Oh well. I have a wonderful spellcaster with me and my spirits. What could possibly go wrong? Well, let's find out in this little room. Oh. Nothing here that could sting me. A mosquito? A mosquito. So here we are in the inner sanctum. Oh, hello there, axes. Why are you named after a weapon? Hello there, saucer. Uh, no, quite the opposite. What? Hey, hey, Tifa, let me talk, okay? Wait, 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 wait. Can't we just talk this over? Okay, apparently she has a spell. No one told me. Tifa? I'm the sword user around here. What is the deal with the sword? And what is the deal with her eyes? What? Oh, wait, wait. Oh. That doesn't sound good. Rimsala. Well, that's true. But you're helping a bad guy. Now, it really doesn't matter what you say, but I'm going with the cannon, cannon, and say no. No, it's my duty to go against evil. And you, sir, are evil. So now we have to fight Ariel and Tifa. This could be bad. Uh. You little She apparently is a poison master. Ow! Oh! This doesn't look good. This is hurting. Hey guys, you can stop this now. Quit hitting me for half my health. It's rather painful. Uh. Oh dear. I'm in a bad state. Paralyzed and my spirit destroyed. And I'm about to die. But look, the saucer has recovered. Oh dear. 
And we are saved. By a character we all will never see again. But they have stolen the sword. And my consciousness. As we move on to chapter 2. Won't you join me in chapter 2 in the next video? I'm sure you will.